Joseph in Egypt. The men who bought Joseph took him to Egypt. They sold him to a man named Potiphar. Potiphar was a soldier for the king of Egypt. Potiphar made Joseph his slave. God helped Joseph to do good work. Potiphar saw that God helped Joseph. Potiphar liked and trusted Joseph. He made Joseph the leader of all his servants. Joseph took care of everything Potiphar had. Potiphar's wife also liked Joseph. She tried to make Joseph kiss her. Joseph knew this was not right. Joseph ran away from her. Potiphar's wife was angry. She told Potiphar lies about Joseph. She said Joseph tried to kiss her. Potiphar believed his wife. Potiphar was angry at Joseph. He put Joseph in prison. Two of the king's servants were in prison with Joseph. They told Joseph about their dreams. Joseph told them what their dreams meant. One servant was killed. The other was let out of prison. Joseph stayed in prison for two years. The king of Egypt had some dreams. He did not understand his dreams. No one could tell him what they meant. The king's servant remembered Joseph. He told the king about Joseph. He said Joseph would understand the king's dreams. The king sent for Joseph. Joseph said God told him what the king's dreams meant. Joseph said the people in Egypt would have more food than they needed for seven years. Then there would be a famine. No food would grow for seven years. Joseph said the people must store food. Then they would have food when the famine came. The king believed Joseph. He made Joseph a leader of the people. The people did what Joseph told them to do. They stored food for seven years. After seven years, there was a famine. No food grew. People went to Joseph to buy food. Then the people had enough to eat. They were glad 